When we talk of making homemade soya, this is what we mean. This recipe it is so easy and the ingredients are easy to find. Let's get started. In this bowl, I have some ground kuli kuli. So guys, you can just take your kuli kuli from the market, just put in a blender and blend until it is smooth. Now bring in some country onions. You have some hot pepper. I have some salt. Be careful with the salt because your kuli kuli contains salt. Seasoning powder, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper and i'll bring in some smoked paprika right there i have some african nutmeg you want to go ahead mix everything until it is well combined just like this i always taste to uh to adjust any seasonings for my beef this is my beef right here this is how i bought it from the store already cut flat like this you can cut yours into any sizes you want i will start by adding in some oil then bring in the dry mix you want to make sure your meat is perfectly coated so guys for my beef i'm using the eye of round you can use sirloin you can use brisket brisket is also a good cut for meat so now go ahead and mix that until your meat is well coated with that beautiful dry mix just like this yours is gonna be like that now you can transfer that onto a grill if you are using an oven you can put it on a baking rack and put in the oven i just sprinkle some dry seasoning and i know spray some oil on it you can just manually sprinkle some oil on it this is just to keep it moist and avoid it from drying out this is going to roast 400 degrees fahrenheit for about four to five minutes each side now the time of cooking is going to depend on how thick your meat are okay if yours is really really thick you're going to grill or roast for a longer time okay so now this is looking really good like i said you can use an oven you can also pan grill it yes i usually pan grill my soya sometimes so now that it's looking beautiful you're just gonna head, go ahead to slice you see my meat is not that dry it's still like a little bit of moist in there that's why i say with soya it depends on how you like yours if you like yours dried or if if you still like yours juicy so i'll just go ahead to serve mine on a plate just like this with some little bit of a side there thank you so much for watching to this point and i hope you get to try this recipe and to meet again in my next video bye for now take care and i love you all if you have any questions whatsoever whatsoever do not forget to drop it and i'm gonna reply asap bye for now